So there's been big talk, as you may have heard, about traders trading technical analysis or fundamental analysis. Technical analysis meaning traders are using indicators, market structure, things of that nature, chart patterns, and fundamental analysis meaning traders are mostly trading or basing their trades from news events. But in this video right here, I'm gonna show you how you can be confident in making profit in whichever way you choose to do it. Technical analysis or fundamentals or even both. I'm gonna lace you all the way up. Let's get it. What's up y'all? This your boy Jay Wayne, you know, representing Team Take Profits. I want you guys to settle in and we just gonna have a discussion about this technical analysis and it's fundamental analysis of trading. This is going to be a little pip talk and I just wanted to, you know, vibe with y'all real quick. And we cannot be too in love with what we do because you because to the point where you're bashing other traders because the best trading style is the one that you perfect. Really, to be honest with you, because check this out. I can give you a strategy that I'm using that's winning but if it doesn't align with your psychology, if it doesn't align with how you are as a person, um, in re in, what I mean by that is, you know, are you more a conservative type of trader? Are you more of aggressive in certain areas? You know, if I'm super conservative throughout the whole thing, you, you just won't vibe with it. You just won't have the patience for it. You know what I mean? You need to find something a little bit more aggressive. So... The best strategy is the one that you perfect, the one that you know the ins and outs to, the one that you know the psychology to, the one that you know when it works and when it doesn't. That's the really the best strategy. So I never you would never see me bashing somebody. So let's start with technical analysis, since that's what most of you guys do anyway, right? Which is no problem at all, but it's just what most of us do. So let's dive into the technical side of things. Let's just get right to it. So the reason why most traders lose when they're trading technical analysis is because they're basing their trades off of indicators. They're stacking too many indicators together, and, and that was me. But that's, for a lot of beginners, that's their training wheels, which is understandable. That's why I think that being taught the right way from day one is key because you will have a different type of training wheels, not so much of indicator training wheels. You will have other type of training wheels. You know, more of um, just understanding market structure. I think that's just the that's the best way to learn it first. Uh, struggle with it as long as it takes. You know what I mean? But trying to skip around market structure and understanding Elliott wave and ebb and flows of the market, trying to dodge it by using an indicator, it just won't cut it. It just won't. It really won't. And the more you stack on that chart, the worst is going to get for you. You're going to be so boxed in in your creativity. You won't even have any creativity. What's crazy is that when you strip the indicators away, you become more creative. You, you see the market for what it is. That being said, to be successful in technical trading, and I'm talking to technical traders, you, already, you guys already know, but I'm also going to give you some nuggets along the way. But I'm more so talking to the fundamental guys that's bashing the technical traders. See, I understand because we, we do things a little wrong when we pile up all those indicators. We're waiting for a moving average to cross. We're waiting for um, a stochastic to turn over. We're waiting for a parabolic SAR dots to flip. And it's always late. When if you understood market structure and price action, you can time your entries a little bit better. Actually, a lot. A lot better. You know what I mean? So I recommend to be successful with technical analysis, master one indicator at a time. Just master it. And it's like, I don't have time. Well, if you don't have time to do this type of work, then you don't have time to trade, really. You're just going to, it's just only a matter of time before you blow your money and just give up and just go back to working nine to five jobs for the rest of your life. And what's sad is that you will be happy doing that. You will be happy trading your time for that stuff. And, you know, f and I understand some people just need to do that because they're just not built for this Forex market. They're too greedy, no matter what you tell them, 
no matter what strategy you show them that works, they just they just will keep blowing their money. Those people just need to go back to work because they're going to uh, rob themselves from freedom. They're going to rob themselves because you can have some level of freedom working a nine to five. It's the peace of mind. And if you keep sabotaging yourself and your family by uh, not trading the correct way, by, you know, risk management, you know, bad risk management, over leverage, all that type of stuff, you just need to go to work a nine to five until you can just get that out of your system. But, you know, speaking of like if you guys already have that under control, master one indicator at a time. And you do have time. You do have time, you know? And we're gonna grind this until the day we die. And when we die is when we don't is when we run out of time. But until you're you're while you're still breathing, you have time to test it out on demo. You slow down. You have time. All right. I know I already know you guys, you know, you you get on this new strategy and you want to mess with around with it for a few hours and then you want to test it right in the market as soon as the market open. And it's like, no, that's not the way to do it. You have time. Trust me, you have time. Um, if you guys want me to make videos about the best indicators or you have specific indicators you want me to test out and how I can tweak them to work for you, um, you know, let me know. Comment below. Comment below. I would love to do a video like that. I only want to do it if that's what you guys want and need. I don't want to just make videos just to make videos. All right. So let me know if you want me to go through all the indicators and even the ones that you suggest. And, and I do that for you. You know, I'm here for you. So. I think that indicators can work for you if you use them as a tool. If you just like understand that today in the market, it calls for RSI because I see divergence. And then you just pull that tool out the box, out the toolbox. You, you get what I'm saying? And you use it instead of trying to wait for everything to line up together. It's rare that all these indicators will line up together showing you a trade. Like it's always going to be one off that's causing you to second guess the entry or they all will line up and you'll still be late getting in. You know, it's, it's it, by the time you get in, it's going to be pulling back. Mo ain't that's what y'all see? By the time you get into the, to the market, as soon as you press buy, it's instantly pulling back. Why is that? Why is that? But I know the answer to that, all right? But that's that's for another video. So as you're getting good with this one indicator, because you got to master them and know to, know how they work, you know, before you can try all these different ones and stacking them up. I, you, you need to master one. So while you're mastering one or, or using one, you really need to be focusing on market structure and price action. Market structure and price action. That is the best thing for a technical trader. And you know what? For that matter, speaking of market structure and technical analysis, that is the common denominator that brings the technical traders and the fundamental traders together. That's the only thing that they can speak on in the same language and agree on most of the time. The fundamental traders, oh, you using all them head and shoulders and trend lines and indicators and and then and then the technical analysis traders are looking at the fundamental traders like, oh, you missing out because you can you can get better entries and and you know what I mean? And all you're doing is looking at news, which is good. You know what I mean? But but each one is saying, hey, whatever, I don't need news to make money. You know what I'm saying? Technical analysis traders are saying, I don't need news to make money. I'm making money without news. Which 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 was me for a very long time. And they just going back and forth. But whenever they have a conversation about market structure, which is in the middle here, they can come together and we can talk that talk. You know what I mean? We can have dialogue. So market structure is the one that we both use is the common ground and price action. Now, between the two, if you only had to master one, it would be market structure first, not price action. I would say market structure first. And then the price says, but it, but we live in a world where we could just learn both at the same time. So that's not a big issue, but that's the common denominator there. So you're using a stochastic, you're using a MACD, just use one or so and, but master the market structure and the price action. That's, that's it right there. Because if you're a fundamental trader and you don't look at 
market structure. You're reading about what's going on with the GDP. You're reading about the trade of balance. You're reading about the BOJ, the Bank of Japan. All of this stuff, right? Non-farm payroll. If you're looking at all of that data, comparing from last month's last year to this year to this month, but you don't really know market structure, your entries will be terrible. Your entries will be terrible. You'll be getting in late and you'll be getting in based on the numbers. But you can get into crazy amounts of drawdown doing that. So then you're going to have to look at market structure. And if you noticed, a lot of fundamental traders tend to go back to the charts and put lines on the chart, don't they? They're trading fundamentals and they can talk the fundamental talk. But when it's time to hit the charts up, they they putting up lines like we do. They may not have it all marked up like we do or have an indicator on there, but they're looking at the market structure. The good ones. So if, if so that's the common ground, like I said. And if they don't look at that thing, if if a funnel if a fundamental trader don't master market structure and price action, then they won't get optimal entries. And the last time I checked, entries was the name of the game. Getting the best entry was the name of the game. So on the flip side, if a technical trader don't look at the news, then they can get into drawdown as well because the way that their strategy works is on for a normal day. So now all of a sudden there's news penny and they don't even know how to find it, how to look up news events. There's a high impact news day and they're trading their strategy like it's a normal day, a normal walk in the park, and boom, they in like 50 pip drawdown because a candle spiked the other way. You see what I'm saying? So they need to be looking at learning how to look at news folders. Even though you may not trade news and learn what all that stuff means, you still need to know that it's coming because that will mess up everything. And I don't trade with news. I try it. When you're scalping. Now, this is this is for people that's scalping. If you're scalping, you shouldn't trade news. And you should always be aware that news is coming. You should not trade. You should not be scalping 10, 15, 20 pips in the market for London Session, New York. Just scalping in and out moves. You shouldn't be doing that when there's high impact news days. Because you get affected by that. Now, if you're swing trading, long term trading, then news almost helps you. Because the news is what moves the market. And so if you're having a bigger outlook, then it really don't matter. You know, you're pretty much good because it, even if the market spike, it ain't nothing. Even if it spikes against you, your stop loss for a swing trade is going to be 50 pips, probably 40 pips, maybe 60 pips sometimes trying to get 120, trying to get 150, 200 pips. Maybe sometimes more, you know what I mean? So that you, you're going to be fine. But I'm talking about scalping. Be aware that news is coming and, and don't even trade that day. So let me go to the charts right quick and I'm going to show you some market structure. Now I'm still going to talk about the fundamental side of things, all right? But let me sh let me go to the chart and show you some technical things and how, you know, and and I'm more so talking to the fundamental traders, you know. Let me show you some things that maybe you're not thinking about because you can't box us all box all of us technical traders in one box because there's some that's reckless and then there's some like me that keep everything in perspective but before we dive in i want you guys to like this video and subscribe if you find this valuable this kind of content valuable like and subscribe we're trying to get to 200 000 subscribers my mission is to help you become a profitable trader so you can get your time freedom back and start empowering people around you that's my mission, and if you support it, like and share this video. All right, let's dive in. So right here, um, I'm just I just chose to mark up the hour chart. All right, so we have the hour chart. Now I ain't finna get too deep into this because I got other videos showing you how I scalp and how I catch the momentum trades and how you know what this red and green line is and how I use trend line. I got other videos about that. All you gotta do is just do a search on my channel. I'm talking about valuable content. But let me just show you one quick little thing here. See, this part of us is technical too. Market structure. See, let me let me pull out this tool here. See, we trade head and shoulders, right? Here's a left shoulder and here's 
a right shoulder. And then here's the head. Okay. Oh my God. What am I drawing? <laughs> what am I drawing? Hold up though. Hold up though. Let's redo that one. Hold on. Hold on. So we got this right here is the left shoulder. And then here's the head. And then here's the right shoulder. Now what comes after that is a drop. A drop happened. See, but that's technical. That's technical analysis. But it happens. It happens so much it's worth using. You feel me? All my fundamental traders out there. This stuff happens for us. Maybe because you're spending a lot of time in the news. Maybe you didn't spend a lot of time mastering this type of stuff. So you didn't get good at it. Maybe that's why you don't like it. But I'm for news though. Because I promised y'all and I promised myself that I was going to master or, go, or or start that journey of mastering the fundamentals for 2023. So I'm for news, but I'm not for fundamental traders bashing technical traders and vice versa. And it's more so fundamentals think that they're the, the gurus of everything. And so they just bash because you don't really hear technical traders bashing news traders because we, we understand news is important. We just choose not to trade it. But, tech, but fundamental traders just bash technical. So if you see somebody doing this, just, you know what I'm saying? Respect the grind. So, but I want to, I just want to break this down. You know what I'm saying? Because this has been a big topic. So this, this head and shoulder thing keep happening. So why not take advantage of it if it keeps happening? All right. And then we know when not to use it. The way, that, based on the way the market structure is forming. All right. So price action is going to be this big old wick right here. Once you saw this big old wick, this is technical stuff, right? Once you saw this big wick right here. Well, guess what? Now you know what happens with that. It's a big wick for a reason. That means buyers were trying to push up in the market, but sellers just kept pushing it down. It's too the Sellers were too powerful. It was just too many sellers up there. It's too many sell orders up there and it just pushed the market down. So when you saw that wick, that was a clue, a technical clue. So then preceded by that wick. See, we already had the left shoulder over here ready to go. And then you got that, that wick right there forming that head. It came down. So now you will understand that the right shoulder will come next. If you are a master at this, you will understand that the right shoulder level is important. So all you do, so what I do in this situation is I just cut the head off right there and I mark up the shoulder levels. So I will probably do something in this situation. This one is a little lopsided. I will go right here. And what I'm focusing on is this left shoulder because the left shoulder is the key. Now I'm getting into a whole, I said I wasn't going to get into this stuff, but you know, I love this type of stuff. So I'm going I'm to mark up the left shoulder and when price breaks the left shoulder, then I'm going to take an entry. I'm going to go down to the 15 minute. You will see there's candles that you can enter in on a 15 minute chart. So that's technical. But but this is what I really wanted to show you. This is what I really wanted to show you right here. Um, We could probably just use this right here. So see this whole area right here? This whole little area right here. This You could put this little box right here. This is a structured level, all right? This is a structured level right here. So why is it that the market keep playing off of other levels that happened in the past? Drag it all the way out. So why, so why, if the market keep doing that, then why not take advantage of that? Because you see how the market dropped and it did what it did, but did you see how the market came back up to that same level that was there. I mean, that happened February 13th and it came back and tested that same level February 21st. It, th this is just not something that I just found in the market and, and I wanted to show you something that was perfect. This happens all the time. Go take a look at your charts. Take a break from um, Forex Factory and, and um you know, the economics, uh, Forex economics, take a, take a break from all of the new stuff and go pay attention to what's happening in the market. Because this stuff is happening over and over and over. You see what I'm saying? Look at this one. 
why it keep happening? See, there's that. That's the head and shoulders, but it's inverse. There's the head. And there's the shoulder. It keeps happening. And look what well, look what proceeds with this now. Remember, cut the head off. The market pulled back into the shoulder area. Came up, pulled back to the shoulder area. And we already knew that shoulder area was there because that's where the market stopped at in the past. This is technical stuff. But it's market structure, though. It's market structure. All right? So find a level. Look at this level right here. Let's say this level right here. Okay, so let's mark that up. Drag it through. About right there, right? Look at this. Do you see how the market shot up from there and then it broke through and pulled back at this level right here? It pulled back right here. Put a trend line right there. Take the buy. So that's all I want to show you all about that. I'm not going to get deep. This is not going to be a whole strategy video. But I'm trying to show you that technical analysis work. If you master it. If you use everything in its proper context. But market structure and price action is, is, is man, is a beautiful combination. And if you use the RSI or one little indicator to help you or pick one indicator to kind of help you time the entry or, or confirm something for you, that's all I use it for is just to kind of confirm something for me. I use that at the very last second to just try, try to confirm something. And sometimes you don't need it at all. That's technical analysis at its finest. So on the news side of things, the fundamental side of things, you know, those people, those traders like to look at the new stuff first. That's kind of like their go-to. So they are, they are, you'll find them researching the folders and researching the uh, what's going on in the economy, which is very powerful. And if you can blend technicals with the fundamentals, which your boy is, about, is doing for 2023, you become a beast in this market, a master trader. So anyways... The, the sites that they go on is Forex Factory, Trading Economics, and they get the, the information. Now, uh, my FX book is what really all you need, really, if you're a technical trader that don't want to mess around with news right now because you're trying to master technicals first, then my FX book is good enough. My FX book, um, M-Y-F-X-B-O-O-K, all right? So that would just show you the folders that's coming up. And you only want to pay attention to like the high impact news. Um, if it's like five medium folders for the at the same time that's happening on a currency pair, then treat, uh, treat that as if it's high impact as well. But if you got high impact news, a bunch of news on a certain day, just go ahead and just take a nap, sleep in, or you could just watch it, but I wouldn't trade it. Um, so, but that's what the fundamental guys are doing. They're looking at these... Um, Forex factories and and uh, trading economics and they're gathering their data. And then they will go to the charts and start marking up, you know, marking up on the daily, the weekly. They're, they're getting a broad outlook of what's going on. And I think it's incredible. I think it's very powerful. And all of us at some point should be doing that. So they go on there, go to the past, look at what happened in non-farm payroll? Look how many jobs were created, how many people was unemployed. And they look at that last month and compare it to this month. They'll look at it two months ago and, and see what the trend is and kind of gauge from there. Three months ago, and then look at what's happening um, you know, this month. And then they'll trade a certain direction. They they'll pick a game plan based on that. But based on also, they go to like I said, they go to the charts, mark it up. And see if everything is lining up and make an informed decision. I think it's incredible. Another good one to look at is the BOJ. That's the Bank of Japan. Uh, Japan is an economy where a lot of stuff is coming in and out constantly. In and out. In and out. In and out. And so that currency is going to always keep fluctuating and moving. Um, they just not going to keep everything in house and... Basically, you know, it, it, they make everything for us. You know, something comes in, it got to go back out. All right. So that's just how theirs work. And so looking at their interest rates, looking at what the banks are doing with the interest rates over there, it's called a BOJ. Um, that's very important. 
uh, looking at that, the GDP, gross domestic product, that's very important. Non-farm payroll is a good one. Although I've seen that non-farm payroll on the first Friday of the month for the U.S., it used to be like taking off crazy big candles. Now, all of a sudden, it doesn't really seem like it, it, it doesn't do that anymore these days. I don't know. Maybe they, I, don't, I really don't know why, but it just seems to be a little bit different these days. Do y'all remember that? Comment below if y'all remember these huge 500 pip candles. G, you know, GBP is big, right? So it's a lot of, it's real, real volatile. It just don't seem the same anymore. All right, guys. But yeah, thank you for tuning in to my Pip Talk podcast. Hey, if you want me to discuss anything that's on your mind or you found anything you're, you're struggling with in the Forex market, we I can break that down and help you get through anything psychology wise. If you're struggling, you know, over trading, you don't know how to break through it. You know, I'm gonna hop on this Pip Talk podcast and we're gonna talk about it. All right. So you can just comment below on this video if you got different things you want me to talk about. And I'll be happy to cover them for you because I'm here for you guys. And if you need help mastering the Forex market period and consistently making profits, you're just losing. You're just losing and you're tired of it. I'm your guy. I can help you. I've done it. You know, maybe five years ago, I wouldn't have been bold like this and said it. But I've done this for so long now and helped so many people. I know exactly what I'm doing and I know what I'm looking at in the market. All right. And I know how to help you with whatever struggle, you, whatever struggle you're going through. Don't scare me. I can help you through it. I guarantee you I can help you through it as long as you're willing to be teachable. All right. If you if you're coachable, um, you know, I can help you through any situation you're going through and get you on the right track. All right. So look, there's a join button below on my channel or in the uh, first link in the description. Click it and you can, you know, join up with me. We trade live um, two to three times a week for london and we trade live for the new york session as well all right so don't forget to like this video comment and subscribe we trying to get to 200 000 subscribers and let's make this money baby peace <laughs>